All right there, guys. Hello and welcome back to Battletech Advanced 3062. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to be covering a little bit in more detail the actual starting planet and the mechs uh, from the uh, new game settings. So I did touch this briefly when I did my sort of uh, setting up your new career sort of videos sort of early on in the series. So what I'm starting to do now is just try and go into a little bit more detail over the sort of like different choices, what all the different ones are. Um, and sort of like my advice as to what to do with certain. I'm not going to go through every single one because there are actually quite a few. Um, again, just to reiterate uh, from a previous video, the, t the the sort of like too long didn't read version. If you are new to the game uh, or new to the mod in specifically, you don't want to be going clan. You don't want to be going um, uh, stuff like uh, picking these specific, uh, you know, uh, fire support, brawling, um, and stuff like that, and you don't want to be doing funsies either. I will explain why, uh, but really what you want to be doing is you kind of want to stick to sort of like the generic starting ones, so like Lorano, Davian, Kirita, uh, Liao, I'm probably mispronouncing half of these wrong, um, and like the regular houses. So we'll go through a couple of those just so you can kind of see where you start and, and sort of like the options that you have available. Um, and then I'll go and show a little bit more of the sort of weird ones, uh, such as, you know, like primitive pirate and, and things like that. I'll try and get through as many as I can, just so you guys have got an idea so you can make a little bit more better informed decision. Uh, but starting off, obviously we're going to go straight in with the Arano and see where we start and what we get there. So we'll see you guys in a sec. <laughs> Okay, so here we are uh, on the on the uh, Arogian Arog I I I can't pronounce half of these. Anyway, the, this is the Arano start. Uh, so just to give a quick look as to where we are actually on the map, it help if I hit the right button. Um, or you start basically whichever uh, I have covered this before, but I'll say it again. So whichever playthrough, whichever starting house you choose. Uh, it will always start you on the same planet. So regardless of what other options you choose, if you stick with the Arano, you will always start on this planet here. Um, one and a half skulls is doable-ish if you are experienced enough in the game. But if you are completely new and you've gone like full easy mode with the money and stuff like that, then I would suggest maybe uh, picking the, uh, like traveling down, there's like one fairly close by, which is a half skull, will make your life a little bit easier just so you've got something, um, so you can get a handle on the, on the game a little bit more. One and a half skull is probably going to be a little bit much. It may not seem it, don't be fooled by the settings that were in the vanilla ones. The skulls are significant. For the most part, the skulls can be very much a lie, um, but you know, for, as initially early on, uh, half, you know, half skull and one skull maximum is kind of where you want to be looking at. Uh, so looking at the starting mechs we've got for this one, we've got a griffin and we've got a commando, we've got a couple of wasps and a wolverine. This is actually a really good starting role because we do actually have two really good medium mechs, the, uh, the griffin and the wolverine especially. Um, when, as you get more and more equipment and you can upgrade the equipment on these, these are fairly solid and these will see you quite a long ways into the game. Uh, Commando, again, is a very good solid start. It's a, um, a nice fast little scout mech. Uh, likewise with the wasps, they're a little bit on the light side when it comes to armor, but some of them, uh, and you know, but like this wasp in specific, you can see it's got six, um, support slots. So that is a like a good little backstabber so if you can get behind enemy mechs and punch them in the back and you can sort of unle unleash a load of small lasers machine guns and all that sort of stuff so that's a good little start there um so yeah that's pretty much it for this one uh we're gonna go and jump onto the next one now and show you what you got there so we'll see you in a sec okay so here we are in the davian start point um and if we look at the mechs specifically to start with we have a thunderbolt uh, and a blackjack too, pretty fairly again solid. The uh, thunderbolt probably more so. I do find occasionally the blackjack can be a little bit weak on the armor side, but it is again, it's a fairly, it's a fairly good solid starter. And again, we have some, you know, usually you will usually have at least one medium mech. Usually, that it's not always 100% of the case, but more often than not, you'll have at least one medium, and then the rest are usually light mechs. Uh, in this case, we've got an urban mech. We've got a Hornet and we've got another Wasp. And like I said, we've got the Blackjack as well. You may have the, you may be like, super, depending on your playthrough, you may be super unlucky and have all lights. Um, 
but in this case you know obviously we've again we've had a fairly decent roll uh, and if we head to the navigation again you will see the uh, starting planet which we've got is right in the middle of there and we are on the one skull so that is better this means you don't really have to travel anywhere um, I mean obviously you can do uh, if you want to sort of try and find a half skull again, don't forget you've got the search filter box up there for doing that um, But yeah, I get the uh, Darien fairly solid start because they are a one skull you you can obviously go through these yourselves It doesn't really cost you anything uh, To do sort of like multiple starts if you want and find you know the ones that are better for you or get better re-rolls on your mechs, but you know that's a fa that's a fairly solid start. Like a one skull with though, if you've got if you um like if you're on the one skull and you have like that sort of loadout, that's actually not too bad. So um, we'll head on to one more of the the sort of standard houses, and then we'll um I'll go a little bit more into the uh the the sort of like really interesting and different ones to look at. So give me a sec. All right, guys, and this one here is the uh we started with the Liao um and if we nip nip to the map you can see where we appear on here and again we've got another one skull so a really really good start for you um there's a few of and there's you know there's another there's another one skull around you so again like i said guys these uh the planets will always be the same for whichever house specific that you choose um and if we have a look at the uh mechs that you've got and this one again we've got a wolverine we've got a hussar we've got a stinger we've got a fire bee, and we've got a vindicator so again a really nice roll sometimes the game will troll you and give you sort of all lights i mean if lights is your thing i mean i know there are some people that like playing primarily with light mechs all through um but again having a couple of mediums uh is a really really good roll so this is something you kind of want to be sticking with if you can have it right so that's pretty much um, all I'm going to cover with them. Again, most of the other the, the other houses um, are pretty much all much of a muchness in that respect. Um, but I wanted to go through a few more like the clans and the more sort of specific starter ones uh, that you can see and kind of explain why it might not be a good idea for you to choose them first off the bat. So first off, we're going to get on, head on to the clan one. Okay, so here we are at the uh, clan start. So to take a quick look at the bays, um, we've uh, we've kind of been a little bit unlucky with the roll here. We've got a cicada, which is okay, uh, Valkyrie, a Hornet, a Kit Fox, which isn't bad, and a Jenna 2C. Now, again, you know the, these do vary. They're, you know, obviously there's a pull that they draw from. This is actually quite a light start as things go. And that is going to be a big problem for you, especially when you see where we are in the map. So if we head into the navigation and and continue, as you can see, where we start is actually a two skull. And we are right at the top here of clan space. So that, I mean, uh, you know, the... The, the um, Lyrians aren't that far away, but, you know, it's that's a lot of money and a lot of time you've got to invest to move somewhere else. Uh, so, yeah, so having a two skull start uh, is not good. Um, you know, the clan stuff is way more difficult to deal with and they generally hurt a lot more. Uh, you are going to spend a lot of time repairing. You're going to get overwhelmed. Uh, the clan is, not, like I've said before, the clan is not a start that you really want, uh, especially if you're new to the game. It's just going to make it super hard for you to do, and you know the, you know, the stuff that you get like when you do the, uh, like this initial roll. I mean, obviously we've been on the weak side, but even if you did get like a couple of mediums, you're still going to really, really struggle if at all, to manage to take on a two skull clan mission. Um, so this is one of the reasons why I strongly advise you, if you are new to the mod, do not do a clan start. Because when you have a role like this, and then you're in two skull missions, you are going to get your butt handed to you a lot. And the quickest way to sort of like turn yourself off a game is if you really struggle uh, at the beginning to get on with doing anything. You're not going to learn anything because you're going to die too quick. Uh, so yeah, don't don't go near clans because it's going to be um, a bit of a nightmare for you. So uh, we're going to uh, so you know uh, we're going to head on to another one now uh, that I would say is probably not the best idea for you to use either. And that one is called Funsies, and it's not as fun as it sounds. Right, guys. So here we are, and this is the Funsies start. Now let me be very very clear with this: this is not fun. 
okay? Don't be fooled by the title. I will explain why now. So to start off with, if we go to the mech bay, uh, you will see that all we have is stingers, locusts, and spiders. Uh, basically, the theme for the build is uh, bugs. So what this means is that all of the starting mechs only draw from a pool of mechs uh, that are bug themed. So spiders, locusts, hornets, stingers, stuff like that. And it's pretty much all light mechs. In fact, as far as I know, they are all light mechs. There's only like six or seven different variants that it will draw from and they are all light mechs. So not only is this going to make your life exceedingly difficult anyway, especially if you're a new player, but if we head to the navigation, you'll also see why this is a little bit difficult because we are out in, in the back end arse of nowhere. Um, we are all the way up here on the left hand side. There is virtually nothing else. Like if a planet is greyed out, um, there's likely not to, to be anything there. So you are out in the back on beyond of nowhere. You're on a half skull, which is fine. Um, but yeah, you've got a lot of traveling to do to get anywhere. And starting with all light mechs is quite difficult. Uh, so do not be fooled because you know you if on a half skull you can you can kind of make uh, an all light lance work it will make your life a bit more difficult uh, again this is for experienced players only i would highly recommend you don't do this first off so that's that one out of the way we're gonna jump onto a different one now and uh show you what this one is so see you in a sec <laughs> Alrighty, and this particular one here is what's on the list as the primitive start. Again, this is another one that uh, you are not going to, I really, really strongly advise you not to do. Again, for reasons which I shall now explain, you will start off with primitive mechs. Now, the difference uh, between the primitive and the regular is usually stuff like uh, the armor weighs more, the engines weigh more. Um, it's like basically the opposite end of like the clan equipment. It's basically the opposite to clan. Um, so you have stuff like uh, primitive cockpit, which is all negative. You have primitive engine, which is you know, more heavy and go does less and stuff like that. So again, it is very, very, a very challenging and very difficult start. You do, you know, there are some decent mechs you get. I mean, we've, we've been super lucky here and we've got a couple of these primitive Ost Wars. Um, but again, the equipment that you're going to be getting is not great, uh, specifically like, you know, when it comes to structure and things like that. Uh, likewise with the starting option, in the uh, navigation, again, you are out in the back end arse of nowhere. You've got a very, very, very long trip to get to the nearest planet. It's 46 days uh, to get to, like, the nearest clan, um, uh, sorry, the nearest house sort of system, which is the Draconis Combine. You've only got, like, three little planets here to use. Um, so, again, it's a very, very super difficult start, not one that I would advise you do. Um, we're going to go and do one more and I'm going to go and look at the ones that are listed under the, um, uh, the, like the specific ones. I'll actually go back to the main screen and I'll show you and we'll uh, show you one of these there. So we'll see you in a sec. So here we are back at the, um, screen and as you can see um the ones that we've got down here, these are more, uh, the more specific. So you have brawling, you have fire support. There's also recon and there's sniper. So basically what this means is the mechs that you'll get will be geared more towards that particular play style. Uh, so recon, you're going to have, you know, a lot of fast uh, mechs for, you know, checking stuff out. Sniper, obviously, you're going to have things like gauze rifles. Brawling, you're going to have more sort of like close, uh, close range sort of melee mech type stuff like that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, brawling. Uh, one thing I did actually want to mention, I completely forgot to say before. Uh, one of the ways you, one of the ways you can sort of tell if a start is for you or not is look at this difficulty bar down here. So you can see on the Arano, it's standard, obviously not any other settings withstanding, but if you start moving them, obviously, as you can see the clan, the, the clan adds the multiplayer up to like, uh, 0.45 there. If we drop down into funsies that like goes up to 0.5. So that's an easy way to tell whether something is going to be for you. Pirates, not so bad, 0.35. Um, and again, primitive 0.55. So again, like if you're not sure, 
uh go by this difficulty bar obviously once all you've chained all your other settings but as you can see you know there is a significant jump in difficulty so they will it will like notify you that uh but let's take a quick we're going to look at two more modes now so i'm going to do the brawling one and then after that we're going to go uh to the easy mode so you can sort of like see that one there so let's hit for the brawling and we'll catch you there when we get to the argo okay so here we are in the uh brawling one our starting location is uh, uh, up the top here in uh, the chain, 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 uh, yeah, there, <laughs> basically. So you're up in the top of um, sort of right above, just up above the clan space here. It's a decent start. It's actually not too bad. Um, mech wise, the uh, mechs we've been given are uh, Thunderbolt, uh, God, brain's not working. We've sorry, we've got a trebuchet, we've got a hunchback, we've got a Wolverine and a couple of cicadas. So really good solid start. So these are a little bit more specific. Um, you know, but I, I wouldn't exactly say cicadas are suited for brawling. But the, you know, when you start looking at some of the loadouts, um, you know, we've got medium lasers, there's a couple of LRM tens on there. But these, you know, these are mechs that usually sort of like have a little bit more armor than normal, so they are better for brawling. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to easy mode, and then you can see what we get there. <laughs> And last but not least, we have the easy mode option. If we head to the mech bay, we can see we've got a decent selection of mechs. We've got a hunchback, a trebuchet, we've got a blackjack, we've got a clint, and we've got a omni fire starter. Um, you know, this is a really, really good solid lineup. So the easy mode uh, draws from a heavier variant pool of mechs. Uh, so it's more like um, you know the uh, what it does is it will draw from the pool that, like the pilot the uh, like the brawling playthrough uses the sniper uh, playthrough uses etc. So it has a higher weight um, class of mech that it draws those from. Navigation wise, uh, if we head back into the map, you can see we're back up here at the start again. So all of them playthroughs. The uh, you know the all the ones as far as I'm aware the one that's piloting one that's brawling the one that's sniper and um, and the easy mode all kind of start up here. Uh, again, you're on a half skull mission or a half skull planet to start with, so that's pretty good. Um, you know most of the you know you do have some other sort of like heavier ones around, so you're not going to have a lot of option before you have to jump into the clan start. So you know take that and take easy mode with a pinch of salt. You do get better mechs to start with, but you know you are going to have to get really good really quick to be able to do it so like the too long didn't read version of this i'll reiterate again um avoid anything with clan don't do the primitive don't do funsies uh stick to sort of like the generic uh houses like the arano uh, liao uh, you know, uh, and Marek and all of those ones that are in the sort of like the generic sort of like big pile in the middle here. Uh, and obviously the Arano is sort of like down there. Uh, anything sort of outlined and outside of that is going to make things a lot more difficult. Uh, you want to pick the ones that have got a starting planet of like one or half, uh, you know, a half or a one skull. So like, you know, we, you know we've already seen there. Um, obviously, if you are new, then I suggest doing sort of like full easy mode. Like give yourself all the money, give yourself all the commander XP, just to make your life easier, just so you can get into the game and you know, uh, you know, not get too disheartened too quickly. I really hope this has been helpful. I mean, I if you really want me to, let me know down in the comments below. I will go through and do a video of every single start. Um, and you know where you are in the map but I know for the most part I think you'll be able to take care of most of that yourselves one thing I will warn you though however the game doesn't like it if you do complete uh, lots and lots of multiple starts so if you uh, go into a start and you don't like it and you want to do a re-roll so you just go to the menu and just click back to the main menu and quit if you do that too many times um, it will basically crash the game back to desktop it's usually about two or three you can get away with doing before it doesn't like it and it will just uh, you know it's it's not it's not broken the game it's just it can't handle having to do the complete sort of like generating and then going back to the career and starting again from there. So like I said, stick with Verano, Davian, Kirita, Liao, Magistri, Marion, Marek. Um, again, watch your difficulty bar down the bottom. So when you start going into things like Outer Worlds and Clan and all the rest of it, as you can see, the difficulty just ramp up a lot. I am planning on actually doing a full easy mode, uh, not necessarily easy mode playthrough. Like I'm not going to do, um, you know, the easy mode start, but I will be doing a full playthrough uh, with like reduced Argo costs and turning, you know, and a lot of other stuff to make 
make life easy. And then you can you guys can follow me through that as well. Uh, and you can sort of like, you know, we can talk a little bit more about Mac tactics. I'll do separate videos on those essentially, but I want to start a new playthrough uh, to go with you guys on that. But if you did find the video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm having a few health issues at the minute, so the stream schedule has gone a little bit wonky. But I do try and stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday when I can. And uh, yeah, all I will say is just follow my Discord. I put the announcements in there of um, you know if if you know if anything in that is going to change. Also, guys, if you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to want to see me do a video on that you want explaining a little bit more in detail because you don't understand it, by all means drop it in the comments below. I do read all the comments, so you know, and I'll respond where it respond appropriately. As for me, though, I'm done for today, guys. Have a safe one. I'm out. Bye bye.